on Snipe Gaming, dude. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel with another tech video. And in today's video, we're talking about the latest leaked benchmarks from Ryzen CPU, the Ryzen R9 1950X, or the White Haven CPU. Now, this CPU has 16 cores and 32 threads, and it will be somewhere over $800. So it's meant to compete with the i9 7900X. Now, this CPU was clocked at 3.4 gigahertz, and the rumored specs claims that this CPU will have 40 megabytes of cache and the ability to be overclocked to 4 gigahertz and uh, boost clocks to 3.6 gigahertz and using XFR it can go somewhere between 3.6 to 3.8 gigahertz so so when you look at Geekbench score in single core performance score it had uh, about 4,000 points but in multi core performance it wasn't that good it was somewhere between 25 to 27,000 points I guess and yeah an R7 1800X can do better in my opinion, I think that this CPU is still not optimized in terms of multi-core performance. Now the i7-7900X in multi-core performance is somewhere between 32 to 35,000 points. As you can tell, it actually performs really good in gaming. If you're getting that CPU for gaming, I guess it's not a good option when you can find a CPU like the i7-7900X. They will trade blows with each other, so you'll not find the AMD CPU outperforming the Intel CPU by a long shot. That's in my opinion, but in the CPU intensive programs that benefits from a lot of cores and a lot of threads, you'll find AMD taking the lead, like for example some 3D rendering and 3D applications. Uh, I want to hear your thoughts down below if I'm right or not. But when you look at another 16 cores 32 threaded CPU coming from Intel, which is the Xeon E52687A version 4, it's a really long name, which uh, has the ability to boost up to 3.6 gigahertz, you find it having somewhere between 3500 points in single score, and in multi core score, it has somewhere between 30 to 31,000 points. So, apparently, AMD flagship CPU can do better in multi core performance because it has higher single core performance, it's really obvious. And uh, when we get at another CSoft benchmark, you find in the arithmetic performance, AMD surpassing the i9-7900X. But when you look at another multimedia score, you find the Intel CPU taking the lead. I'm not sure, but anything that has to do with multi-threaded applications, the AMD R9 1950X isn't fully optimized for it. That's why it doesn't perform as good as Intel or even better. And that's what you should expect. You should find better performance than the i9-7900X in the CPU intensive applications. But when you get at gaming, I don't think that you'll find any CPU better than what Intel can provide you. They've been doing CPUs for a long time game developers when they decide to make a game they try to make it run as good as possible on Intel CPUs and AMD's architecture is still new so it's not that optimized for older games like The Witcher 3, GTA V etc so yeah that's why you find the CPU usage isn't reaching 100% and Intel CPUs are actually fully utilized so yeah that doesn't mean that AMD has more room to spare it's just not utilized but you know i'll leave it to you let me know what you think in the comments and uh, i guess that's it so don't forget to subscribe press that like button if you press that dislike button please let me know why i'm just giving you news starting from now i will upload three videos a day and uh, let me know what you think so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video